All right, what up? My name is AJ Hall. I make drum break sample packs. Today, we're going to make an entire drum break sample pack using only one mic at a time, all right? Stick with me. Let's go. Yeah. All right, so 25 drum breaks using only one mic at a time. I mean, 25 drum breaks, five of each using one mic. First mic we're going to use is this ribbon mic. It's a Cascade Vinjet microphone, all right? So it's a ribbon mic. I'm going to be keeping it in the crush position on the drums. Let's see what we got. So the ribbon mic is going to be going through this Blackline Audio Autor Mark II, all right? Very basic preamp. It's not adding a lot of colors, just giving me a little bit of a boost, all right? It's not an expensive preamp at all. So here we are at the drums. If any of you drum nerds want to help me out, this is an old Made in Japan kit. That's all I know about it. It's from the 60s. It's got the reinforcement rings. I'm using vintage emperors on the toms and just a regular Power Stroke 4 on the kick with this little feather beater, as you can see down there in the foot cam. Um, and I've also got my 90s Acrolyte up cranked way, way high. And I've got a vintage emperor as well on there. So if any of you drum nerds want to help me out, if you can tell by the lugs, I'm not sure what kind of kit this is. I'm going to be honest, all right? So I got my Zildjian fat hats up here. And we're just going to play a funky drum break. I'm going to let you hear just the ribbon mic dry, all right? So although you may see other mics in this setup, I'm only tracking this ribbon mic. I got my full setup up right now, but only the ribbon mic is tracking, all right? Here we go. All right, let's mix this bad boy. Let's go to my mix window. Check it out. Here we go. Nothing, no effects, nothing on. Here's the raw one mic break. Not bad, right? Sounds like a ribbon mic. All right, so what we're going to do first, since I know I've got a whole bunch of low end coming out of that because it was right next to the kick drum. So the first thing I'm going to do is dip off a little bit of this low end. Let me restart this right here. I'm going to take off... I'm going to do a low shelf with the native EQ and Logic real, real easy. Just take it off about, up to about 60 hertz. Let's see. Let's hear how that sounds with an AB. And with it off, you can't hear that much low end right now, but I know I'm going to get so much of that low end once I start adding compression and everything, right? All right. So the first thing I did was take all that low end off. Next thing I'm going to add is my SSL channel. And I've already put my little EQ boosts on here. So check it out. I've got six, almost 6 dB at around 13K. And I'm adding another 6 dB at around 5,000. And I've got another 3 dB all the way down in my meat and potatoes range at 0.28, which is 280, right? So 280 hertz. So check it out. With and without this SSL channel. Now with the SSL channel on. Whole lot of high end clarity and a little bit of that low mid range oomph on it. That's off. That's on. Beautiful. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go pretty much to our master channel now. This is what I would usually do if I had break stems, but I have my master channel all the way set up. So the first thing I'm going to do, add a little 1176, so the CLA 76. Just pinning that needle just a tiny bit. Check it out with it off. Turning it on. It's really bringing out the, the pop on that snare sound. You know what I'm saying? All right. 
So the next thing I'm going to do is actually, it's one of my favorite plugins ever. It is a free plugin. It's by Bedroom Producers Blog. Bedroom Producers Blog has a great plugin. It's just called Saturator. It's a free saturator. I really love the way it sounds. So I got the tube saturation on 20 and the tape saturation on 17 right now. I'm going to zero them out and I'm going to take both of those up. Let's hear it. So we've already got a whole lot of grit coming out of that. Here's the AB with the saturator off. And now with the saturator on. So next, we're going to add a little bit of my own spring reverb. This is an actual spring reverb unit that I have right here sitting down there. So it's a Sansui RA700. It is meant for home stereos. And since I don't really give a shit, we added it into my in and out setup, right? So here it is. Check it out. The break with this RA700 reverb. Peep it. And it's really only catching the snare hit. It's not getting much of the, it, re, it really only catches transients. It's not getting much of the kick right now. I'm going to really, really max out the reverb and then I'm going to back it off. Right in that sweet spot. All right, next. Uh, the hip hop producer's favorite choice, RC20. I have a little bit of the distortion on, 24% on the iron, which is emulating, um, I believe it is emulating an SSL board. Don't quote me on that. So I've got a little bit of that, a little bit of the wobble, just a tiny bit so you can hear the reverb wobbling. And I've got a little bit of vinyl noise, because why not? It's hip hop, right? And a little bit of digital, right? A little bit of this digital bit crushing for the children, right? Let's get it. So here is the break with the RC20 on. Here's the break with the RC20 off. A little bit more grit. You can just barely hear that vinyl crackle, but that's what I want. All right, so check it out. My man, my main man, Decap, has a plugin called Knock that I really, really love. And it's got a little bit of transient shaping going on, a whole lot of saturation, a little bit of this thing called air, which is either vintage or clean air. Clean air is like modern style EQ, vintage is old school style EQ. So we're really getting a little bit of the high end forced out of here. And it's clipping a whole bunch, but I'm only running it at about 50%, right? So here's the break again without knock. Here's the break with the knock. And I'm going to show you what the plugin is actually doing. I'm going to turn the wet signal all the way up and I'm going to back it off to 50. It's way too much with the wet signal all the way up, but just so you can hear what's going on. Low key, I'm not actually mad at that because once again, this is hip hop. I know there's going to be some people who happen to stumble upon this video going, oh, it's clipping, it's distorted. Yeah, it is. All right, so I'm going to back it off a little bit. Check it out. 50%. Gorgeous. All right. So the one of the last things I put on it is this Abbey Road mastering plugin. And it's got a lot of presets for drums. This is one of the Lou Diaz presets for drums that I modified just a little bit. So I'm gonna play the break with it on. Here we go. Break with it off. Just giving it a little bit of that vintage kind of glue. So I love to leave that on. All right. Now, the crown jewel, ladies and gentlemen. 
Crown Jewel, we are going to go to the TAC 1230 tape machine, all right? So this is my baby. I have everything running out from Logic into the tape machine, back into Logic from the tape machine. So we're going to monitor the tape machine in real time as it's recording. We're not going to record it and then play it back and then record it back, and it's, that's annoying to do. Monitor it in real time and bounce it out in real time, all right? Here we go. Tape set to record. Let's get it. Without the tape. With the tape. You know what? Let's take the output volume from Logic, which is going into the tape. Let's take it a little bit up. Right now we're at minus 15 dB. Let's take it to like minus 10. Some tape crunch going on. Let's go. All right, let's back it off a little bit. Minus 12 dB going into the tape. Sounded like Questlove. All right, so here we go. One of my favorite plugins ever is called Dirty Filter. It is by Bedroom Producers Blog, and it's just a magical plugin, man. It's absolutely magical. All right, it's a distortion that you can add high pass and low pass with a slope to the, to the distortion. It's amazing for tape. Check it out. Here we go. I'm going to do it off first. Now with it on. Oh my lord, that sounds absolutely amazing, man. Absolutely incredible. One of the last plugins I'm going to add to this is one of my favorite plugins ever by Baby Audio. It is called Super VHS. I've got the heat knob up just a little bit, which is some overdrive. The wash knob up just a little bit, which is some reverb. And the magic signal, which is basically this button right here that just turns on some beautiful, like, rolling style chorus from the 80s, all right? I've got the mix way, way, way down, though, so it's not fully processed. I'm going to take it the mix all the way up so you can hear what it's doing and then I'm going to take the mix all the way back down to where I had it to where I like it. Check it out. Actually sounds pretty killing but I'm going to take it down. Check it out. Alright, we're going to back it off. So Super VHS is off. Super VHS is on. Yeah, that is absolutely ridiculous. One single mic. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the kick MIDI because in this pack, there's going to be the available add-on to have kick MIDI added on to any of these breaks, all right? Check it out. So what I've done here, I re-imported the break after I bounced it out the tape. Here's the break. Gorgeous, nasty little piece of work. Fantastic, all right? So now I've got a separate channel here, and I called it 4Kick MIDI. So I basically copied the break right here. The break is completely copied into this channel, and I've got a noise gate after the high pass, and I've got a transient shaper after that, right? So the transient attack is all the way up, and the sustain is all the way up. It's This audio file is not actually going to be used as audio. All I want is for it to sound like this. That's all I want because now that I've got it isolated down to completely the kick transients, we're actually going to take this faux kick track right here. And we're actually going to bounce that in place. So it's going to re-import as its own, basically just a kick file right here. See that? We've got just the kicks. So that file is now going to be converted into a MIDI track. So you can go to track, replace or double drum track. It's going to analyze that. And now we're going to set it to C1. So when it prints, it's going to print a MIDI track at C1. We're going to preview it. So now we have the break right here and a perfectly nice little MIDI track right here. What we're going to do 
we're going to go into sampler and we're actually going to add one of my own one shots all right so i'm going to go in here and i'm going to go to left field one shots volume one and i'm going to find a kick that i actually made like six months ago and put out in a sample pack which you can buy let's find a good one Actually, my favorite one in this pack is called Kick Dorkazoid. Oof. Might, might not be that one. Might be Grotto. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Yeah. We'll go with Grotto. All right. So we're going to load that into the sampler, which has our kick MIDI. Here's the break by itself. God, that turned out so good. All right, so it's got plenty of low end, but if you want that extra bit of hip hop push and low end in it, you can actually load up the MIDI file right here. Look at these beautiful MIDI notes. Check it out. Now we've dragged and dropped one of my kicks into it. Going along with the break, it sounds like this. Oh my goodness. With it off one more time. Check it out with the kick midi on. That is absolutely ridiculous, man. Let's uh let's go into our sampler. Let's let's play around with some other kicks. Let's see. While it's playing, I'm gonna load some other kicks from my own sample pack, Left Field One Shots Volume 1. Check it out. I think I really like that one. I really like that one. Add it on to the break, just a nice little punch on top. Because I knew you were thinking it, yes, you can add an 808 to these breaks with the kick MIDI, all right? This is an 808 that I made myself using that analog synthesizer right there. Yeah. Again, off. With that added kick midi, dog, yo. The possibilities are literally endless with this. Man. One drum break pack with 25 drum breaks with the optional added kick midi, all right? Peace. Yeah.